What up, boys? I'm not going to hold y'all too long, but I just want to do a quick intro. This was a project I was working on about a year ago whenever I was wanting to launch this channel, and I almost got done with this video, never completed it, and I wasn't at a position to keep my YouTube running, my YouTube channel running like um, I wanted to consistently, so I didn't want to put this video out there, intellectual property and whatnot. But um, I found this video, I forgot that I'd made it, it was almost finished, so I'm going to, no, I'll say no more. I'll let you guys see what I did, and I'll jump in where I left off, but it was almost finished, so enjoy this video. What's up, guys? Grace for Days here, back with another Classic WoW video, and today we're going to be going over the Hidden Path exploit. Now, at this point, you may be asking yourself, But, uh, Grace for Days, what is the Hidden Path exploit? Well... Come have a sitski, maybe a drinkski. Let me explain to you why we begin our orc or troll characters down this hidden path. As you can see, you're looking at the path that you're going to be taking from the Valley of Trials to the Thunder Bluff Flightmaster. The completion of this run is going to take you approximately 17 minutes. You're going to discover 8 new zones, learn 5 new flight paths, gain an entire level, and pocket 5 to 20 silver along the way. Now. The Hidden Path is located at the south end of the Valley of Trials, and its true purpose for being here is for a shaman quest where they receive their first totem. Rather than hanging a left, we're going to jump off the cliff, into the Merchant Coast, and gain our first 55 experience. At the base of this waterfall, you're going to find a weapon crate that was intentionally placed here by one of the developers. Now I know some of you are going to say, But Grace for days, it's just a weapon crate. No, no, no. It's not just a weapon crate. And let me explain to you why. This weapon crate found just outside the starting zone is a tier 2 weapon crate. It can be found in the Southern Barrens, Ashen Vale, and Black Fathom Depths. These are level 20 to 30 zones, and that means the items that are in these crates are equivalent to that level. This particular time, we got unlucky and found an axe that only vendored for 5 silver, but I went back a second time and found a staff that went for nearly 18 silver. Wow, not only is this a quick shortcut to the Barrens and their three flight paths, but someone conveniently placed a weapon crate here where you can potentially find up to 20 silver to start your new character. The advantages of this run are huge, and it leads me to believe that this wasn't just an accident. You see, Classic World of Warcraft was filled with these secrets and easter eggs, and while many of them have been discussed and discovered in the past, I think this is one of many more that have been left under the radar and undiscovered even 15 years later. This is a testament of how deep the game really is and how much the developers cared about their product. This wasn't just another guy looking for a paycheck, no, this was the doing of a developer who in 2004 was gonna launch as an orc or a troll and was gonna give himself a huge advantage in a sneaky way. Check this out guys, that extra 5 to 20 silver you just picked up covers your training expenses through level 10, and better yet, once you get to Sinjin Village, you can upgrade your weapon, which gives you an enormous damage increase while you're leveling and killing monsters. On top of that, this path provides you with all the flight paths that you're going to need from level 1 to 20, and will save you an immense amount of time in instances like where you need to travel to Thunder Bluff to get that last Ragefire Chasm quest or you're in the crossroads and you pick up a timed quest to run to Thunder Bluff and you can just take the flight path. To top it all off, we gain 440 out of the 400 experience needed to level 2 just by running from point A to point B. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> I mean that's pretty much it I don't know why I didn't end the video there and throw it out there for the YouTubes but there it is boys if you're gonna roll a new orc or troll you should be doing the hidden path exploit now if you're speed leveling and you're not gonna go to ragefire chasm and you're not gonna fly to cities to complete all the quests basically if you're gonna be a completionist this is an opportune thing opportune thing to do it only takes 17 minutes and you get five flight paths out of it, an entire level. 
So it just makes you kind of feel better in those first hour that you're leveling through. It feels like you get a huge advantage. Uh, I'll definitely be doing this whenever I roll an orc or a troll, and I'm going to take it slow and be a completionist myself. So thanks for watching, guys. This video was a breath of fresh air. Uh, reminded me the excitement I had a year ago and how much fun I was having with these videos and just a great reminder. Anyways, thanks for watching. Grace for days.